Hi guys, I'm back. Sorry, well, there was a break between what you last saw and what you're seeing now. Um, after the last recording, I took the disc out of the camera, uploaded it to the computer, and then misplaced my disc somewhere. Wanted high and low for it, so I had to order a new disc, and I just received the new disc, and um, so I'm back to the recording. But while I was waiting a few days to get the new disc delivered from Amazon, ordering it and receiving it, I did apply the second layer. So this is at two levels now, two layers of paint, uh, blocked in detail. So now we're moving on to the third stage, the final detailing, and then the final tonal glazes here and there. So apologise for the uh, cut out between what you last saw and what you're seeing now. Anyway, back to the shark, the blue shark. Let's get some brushes. Let's prepare, get the things I need. Let me just make sure I've got some liquid. Just shake the bottle, always give it a shake. When you use liquid, you really need ventilation because it's got petroleum spirit in. It does breathing in the fumes if if you're in an enclosed room, uh, which I am in the basement. So what I have to do is leave the base the door open um, so that air is flowing into this room. But if you're in an enclosed area, it will get to you. It did me when I first started using it. My chest would get really uncomfortable. And uh, and then um, I started opening the door and then I improved it. All right, so I'm just gonna start applying some details now. Hopefully, details that will make it look more finished. And I'm going to start on this piece of coral here. I just want to get some finishing details on that. I'm going to be using a blue, a light, lighter shade of blue. I'm just mixing just the smallest amount of cerulean blue because again blue is it's just a really powerful color so start with your white mix your white with some of the liquid and then just touch your brush and even wipe some of the blue off the tip of your brush you just need a small amount <clears throat> and all I'm going to do is do some vertical strokes do this everywhere it's just in places to give you the illusion that these pieces are three-dimensional like cubes just sticking up
just going to do some touch up detail work around this now on this coral. Doesn't need a lot. I'm going to let that dry, all this bottom area, and then see how it looks when it's dry. I don't want to overkill it, but I think I think there's enough tone in there. Highlights, low light shadow. 
it's showing your structure. Now, I want to do some reflections in the water up here where the sun's it in the water and there's some little ripples and waves. And then when that's done, I'll um, let this dry and then I'll apply the finishing third detail layer onto the shark. Let that dry, then I'll be doing all the little fishes. So still a lot of work to go. And um, maybe put some tonal glazes on that water. There's some deeper tones here and there. There's some in some areas. There's um, some slight sort of purpley blue tones. So I want to get those tones in using a glaze around this area. So the deep purpley blue tones. So yeah, enough of the coral. Let's start doing some sort of very pale blue light ripples. on the camera but I like the way it looks it looks a lot close to the photograph that I'm using as a reference and that's part of the finishing stage adding these tones finishing glazes finishing detail is flashing so I'm going to run out of power soon but we've done the coral we've highlight, put highlights and low lights on the corals areas we've toned the water with glazes we've put some white highlights in there where the waves where the surface is being hit by sunlight or, or light it might not be sun it could be a grey sky but it just looks lighter in spots on the surface. I will be touching that up. But I'm happy with these tones now. Now I've added glazes, they're closer, much closer to the photograph. So I'm gonna leave this now. I'm gonna let what we've done today dry. And then when this is dry and I can lean on it, I can carefully finish the shark and get him detailed and completed and then when he's done I'll just there's just some areas up here where the surface is being broken broken by light that I'm going to touch up and then I'll do this small fish over the coral so anyway that's it from me guys um, I'm going to charge the battery I'm going to leave this to dry overnight and then I'll get back to it tomorrow um, to work on the shark so he's finished get that shark finished off all right till tomorrow guys have a good evening talio chocks away 
Hi guys, Martin here, coming back with the Blue Shark. Um, so I'm on the final stage now. The battery was dead, so I've been charging it while I'm just adding some fish, just the front half, the black portion dotted around different places. And now I'm going to add the white and the back end of the fish. Still got a little more detail work to do on the shark. The eye especially, the eye looks a mess. Um, and uh, do a few highlights. And maybe a little bit of colour tone in here and there. But yeah, it's, it's almost there though. And then I've got some disturbance to show on the surface of the water in this area. It's, it's not a lot of disturbance, just very faint, so. with the canvas on the easel. So I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm take the canvas off the easel and I'm gonna work on it in my hand so I can maneuver it canvas and you're not going to be able to see it are you whilst I lower the camera I'll try lowering the camera what I'm going to do is Yeah, you're not going to see this, guys. I need an overhead camera for you to see this. So I'm going to turn the video off while I put the white tails on all the fish. And I'll come back. Okay, guys, so I've added the white on the back of those black headed fish. I'm going to let that dry because it's going to need to be tidied up. I'll have to go around the edges of the fins with the blue just to get real sharp detail. I've added some um, bit of turbulence in the water up here. I don't know whether it's showing up on camera. can't see it on the screen so I'm not sure it's showing up. Hi guys, so uh, I worked on level three finishing it off and uh, I think I'm calling it done now I've signed the bottom corner on the right side uh, I'm gonna let this dry there's gonna be some glare on there because it's still wet I'm gonna let the painting get touched dry and then I'll be able to see how it looks uh, when there's no paint glare and if I think there's needs a little bit of touch up I'll do a little bit of touch up but for now I'm calling it done. When it is touch dry, if I'm okay with it and it doesn't need touch up, then I'll take some photographs so we don't get the paint glare, the wet paint glare. And, um, and then I'll post them on to my Facebook page. And if I like the look of the photographs, I'll get a proof print for a reproduction Geekly print. Alright, so painting number 35, Blue Shark, I'm calling done. And if you've been following this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, showing you how to draw that composition, I hope that's helped and you're going to, you're going to,
perhaps be tempted to have a go yourself. Alright, thanks for now, on with the next. Cheers. <laughs>